Oh, welcome back to SA Live, where we always have yummy food on this show, and it's National Beef Month. Awesome. And we have a recipe today that will beef up your lunch hour. Joining me today is executive sous chef Richard Leal from Zedrix Hi, to show us how to make this really healthy dish. What is Mike sampling over there? So what we have is we've got a base of roasted Brussels sprouts, sauteed mushrooms, onions, and yellow wax beans that we seasoned up a little bit with some nice bright flavors. And then we finish it off with some seared beef tenderloin. It's nice and lean, doesn't have a lot of fat to it. And then we season that with a little bit of toasted fennel and rosemary, salt and pepper, and then finish it off with roasted red peppers and feta. It sounds simple enough. It's you know, pretty that simple. It's fairly quick We're going to cook it today. You're going to see how okay. easy it is. All right. So, so here we go. Start it off with a little bit of the olive oil. Mm -hmm. Just kind of drizzle it in the center of the pan. There we go. And you're going to dump all those Brussels sprouts in there. All the Brussels sprouts go in. Okay. Brussels sprouts are really get that kind of a come bit. into fashion, if you will, because you should be like, ooh, Brussels sprouts, and now, I mean, everybody's cooking with them, and they're very, very healthy, right? Exactly. They're really low carb. They've mm -hmm. got a really nice flavor to them. Once you cook them down a little bit, they lose that fibrous, that fibrous bite to them, and they sweeten up a little bit whenever they roast, so they lose the bitter flavor. Okay. All right. Okay, and then we're going to season that with just a little pinch of salt and pepper. Pinch of salt, a pinch of pepper, okay. Okay, and then we're just going to let those, you already kind of smell it. I already kind of oh, smell it cooking yeah. and caramelizing a little bit. Oh my gosh. So keep that pan working. Okay. Go ahead and take the spatula and mm -hmm. move it around just a little bit more. We're going to get that evenly coated with some of the oil. Okay. Make sure that it's getting an even cooking surface on it. There we go. And then you'll see those little bits of the Brussels sprouts starting to toast up a little bit. And so the rest of the ingredients all contribute to how healthy this dish is, right? Exactly. And the only reason why we're starting off with the Brussels sprouts mm -hmm. is because those have a longer cooking time than the rest of the right. vegetables in the pan. So if you were to dump in all the mm -hmm. softer, moister vegetables at the very beginning, the Brussels sprouts would still be really tough. So you want to let this go for... Exactly. Just a couple of minutes okay. and everything. You're going to start to see it uh, lose some of its color. It's going to go a little bit translucent. You can start to see some of the thinner leaves going oh, right yeah, there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So now that's going uh -huh. and you see the little visual identifiers, like the bits of the toasted leaves. Yes. So right, right here. Now, now we can start taking our other okay. vegetables and adding it in. So when so you see that, it's time. Yes, exactly. Okay. So that's like the vegetable telling you that it's ready for the next step of the cooking process. Yes, I'm ready. Send them so in. So add a little okay. bit of the mushrooms, okay. just sliced button mushrooms, some diced red onions. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And some yellow wax beans. Yellow wax beans. I don't know if I've ever had these. Okay. okay. And now we're going to season that up with a little bit of our uh, dried thyme. Right here. And some dried Mediterranean oregano, yes. Right, just a pinch of each will do fine. A little bit go. goes a long way. Oh, there we go. That's it. All right, okay. so now you're just going to keep on moving that around. Okay. Not only beef, but so many other dishes. I mean, everything, all prepackaged. I love yeah. that. And this is what you get at the store, just yes. like that. This is this meal. Exactly. And that's already got all the nutritional facts on it for you. It lets you know if you're following your certain macros, carbs, protein, sodium, all that's already displayed onto it for you. And we have different sizes, uh, small, regular, larges, mm -hmm. just to feed whatever nutritional needs you have. Oh, okay. So it's all just kind of just go by the, literally by the menu. Exactly. And here's what I need, and this is what satisfies that. We have an entire menu catered to specific meal plans just depending on what you need. And then when I get this home, how do I heat it up? So we have heating instructions set off just to the side next to the price for you. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's going to be right oh, here. Okay. So some of them you'll just kind of have to uh, release the lid to release the pressure so that it gets an even steam on it. And it'll let you know how long to cook it for. Uh, you can take off the label and they're hand washable and reusable containers. Oh, All right. Fantastic. Where are you folks located? So we have three locations, one at the I-10 and Colonnade Shopping Center, one at the Quarry Crossing, and then our newest location at Stone Oak and Hebner. Okay. Okay, right. so this is about done. We're going to go ahead and bring it over to the plate. Okay, here we go. Got it all in. Okay. There You're going to need a fork field because that's kind of really it on there. Oh, oh, I know. Delicious. It smells yes. amazing. And right here, go. we just got our base. Now we're going to add the pan back to the heat. Oh, and then pour the just a little bit more olive oil on there. Okay. This is a lean beef. It's not going to release its own fat okay. while it's cooking. And then go ahead and dump those beef pieces nice in there. All right, so we're going to finish this and show this okay. off a little later. For more information and the complete recipe for Zedrix, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We'll be right back.